Hi, Coach. Thoughts on uh, coming back to the Valley? Well, I'll tell you tonight, uh, you know, just congrats to UTRGV. They shot the ball well. They outplayed us completely. Uh, you know, we had a pretty good pretty good game plan, I thought. I thought we could do a few things. And then, you know, we had a really nice win yesterday against St. Thomas University in Houston. And But tonight, we uh, – some of my guys that I'm really counting on for the year didn't step up. And, you know, it's just one of those things that happens in the course of the season. You sort of go back, look at the video, regroup, see what you can do. That's one thing about coaching. One day you're really on top of the world. The next day you feel like you're on the bottom of the ocean. And that's about as low as it can get. But we'll move on from this and, and try to get better. You know, this this team is that we play tonight, you know, Division One. They're way out of our level. We're we're NAI Division Two, you know, no scholarships, you know, all academic stuff. But again, I'm I'm concerned about effort no matter what level it is. And we got to get better at that. I think they're a little bit shell-shocked. Uh, I think that may be the first time that they've ever played in front of a uh, pet band and cheerleaders. <laughs> and so we'll learn from it move on. Um, I guess this, if this is the worst thing that ever happened to me in the world, I'll be okay. Coach, uh, being back in the Valley, uh, and seeing that the university has now reached uh, the point where they want to add football based on the student referendum. Can you just talk about that from the last time you were here? Well, just to let you know that I'm a UTRGV booster. My V's are up in Dallas-Fort Worth all the time. And, and I contribute to the, uh, to the athletic fund. And I'm a proud member of that. And I get such good stuff. I mean, good information from UTRGV and this uh, referendum that they're voting on on Tuesday. You know, and, and the thing that just excites me is the way, the attitude, the way that UTRG, U the Valley has embraced UTRG over the last three or four years. Rally the Valley. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, that, that, that's good stuff and that's a way to make it work. And on this referendum vote, uh, students, I hope you're listening to me. If any of you are, vote for it because I'm going to tell you that it will not only rally the valley, it will ignite the valley. And I'm telling you, it will put this campus on fire of where it needs to be. You know, you go back to the years I was here, you got to give kudos to uh, Chris King. He fought some good fights for us to get things better here. And then, you're as only as good as your administration wants you to be. Uh, Guy Bailey, the Board of Regents, his staff, the developmental people are doing an incredible job. And I'm going to tell you, and uh, Chase Conk, you've got one of the best athletic directors, bar none, in the entire United States. I follow him really closely on all the Twitter, all the Facebook, uh, what do they call it now? I don't know what they call Facebook now, but <laughs> all the Instagram. But guys, y'all got something special with it, what you got fighting for in administration. And I just hope these students step up because as I came down to Valley, a lot of, a lot of emotions when we drove down after that win. And I'm thinking about all the times in the Valley and I'm thinking of the times that the people would just keep coming. You know, they, they, they talk about the Valley. Everybody loves the weather. Everybody loves the water. Everybody loves the food. But the most important thing in the valley is the people. The people of the valley are the absolute best I have ever worked with as we built this program when I first got here. I think it was 30 straight years of, of I'll say non-winning. But uh, the way that the people rallied around us and helped us build this. Guys, the valley and students, please step forward for this ref referendum because it will ignite the valley. And the last one, the last time you were down here on the, in the valley visiting South Padre Island for a coach's clinic, uh, you reached out to Lou Hill's family. Any uh, scholarship update on that? Well, we, we, we got her signed. Uh, she may not want to play for us now after what we played tonight, but uh, no, she is awesome. And, and Renee and Sweets, I stay in touch with them. 
And did you notice our headbands tonight yes. when we were warming up? Uh, number three, Lou Hill, V's up. We all have our V's up. Uh, always, you know, always in memory of such a great person. And not only a great coach, but a great person and somebody that you loved working with. I love working with his staff. You know, Luke, Jay, Kenya. I mean, just what an unbelievable staff. And to see Matt Figger come in, and he comes in in a tough situation, you know, losing your head coach previously. But I'm going to tell you, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, y'all got a 12 with that young man. Matt Figger's been a friend of mine a long time. We've done some clinics together over in the Bahamas. We've done them a little bit of everywhere. And he is first class. But I'm going to tell you what, Lou Hill, you know, what we, what we do in this lifetime will echo into eternity. Lou Hill's echo will be is loud and clear, and it will be remembered for centuries to come. Because what, what a great person, and what, and he 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 not only grew the game, he shared the game. And uh, I just love him, love his family, and we're going to do everything we can to to keep keep his memory going. And we wore the headbands tonight in his memory. And uh, Lou, we love you, man. Okay. Of the field house is incredible. And I cannot thank enough all of what my good friend Jonah Goldberg, Danny's done, my play by play guy, yeah, Mel Smith. And, but you come into this gym, and I've been all over the world. And I've been back, I've worked at Kansas, Texas Tech, TCU, Baylor. And I put. Dr. Torres and our pep band, and I'd put our cheerleaders and our dance team, I'd put them up against any program in the entire country. They made it, they, they were loud tonight. Our kids were just shaking. I mean, but first class, and Dr. Torres and, and, and Lord, I mean, first class, and I just wanted to let, I just wanted to say that because they, they are difference makers. And the table crew's the best. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs>